All right, my friends. Some of you long-term subscribers might remember this. This is the Mary Tiller. It was in about five or six years ago. And it, uh, it has points for sure, right? And my old buddy Alfred there, he said that it's not starting. So, hmm, it might even be a, a lead. But I want to see if we have a spark. Because this old guy's got points, eh? Now I'm going to turn so I can see it a little bit. No, no, no spark. Okay. Furnace alert. So let's put Mary, let's take Mary to the doctor. <laughs> okay. We'll readjust you. And we'll show you something. Mary! With lips like cherry. The rest of the cover. Now that I don't have to lay on the ground, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to get a tray for one. I'm already missing a bolt. Can you believe that? Where did second three-eighths bolt go? Oh, I put it back in the, oh, I put it back in the top. That is so smart. That couldn't have been me. Okay. And the last bolt is right there. This is such a beautiful machine. Okay. Points. This seems good. The rewind seems good. Okay, I'm going to have to get these points out of here because I do not have a coil that is that has that large a gap from the hole to the magnet, which is this here. This is a bigger gap right there than I'm used to seeing. But this is a 1969, right? So I'm just going to go and repair the points now. If that's what our problem is. First, I've got this super cool tool sent to me by a subscriber. It must be seven or eight years ago now. And this just spins off the clutch. Okay, you ready? No beating, no hammering, no problem. Okay, like I've said 3,000 times, there aren't enough O's in smooth to describe that. Now, we got to get that flywheel off of there. We can tap it off. We, can, we can't pull it off, there's no holes. This is an old machine. Kind of cool, actually. I'm just going to tap this big old fat screwdriver into the bottom here, where I've got some reliability. Oh, ha! Isn't that nice? And the flywheel key went with it. You see that? Right there. We'll just lay that in the part spin as such. Now we could use a little bit of air on here just to blow the crud off this. I'm getting a mess. Drill, quarter inch, go. Oh, let's take the cap off too. Okay. So now, we find out what our points look like. First I get a look, and then you get a look. I'm going to take the spark plug out. So we can just turn the engine over a little bit easier, that's all. It hasn't been used a lot. Now, we are going to close these, or have a look at these points. They look, they look new. Could it be the capacitor? 
Yeah, they look just fine. I'm going to get a piece of sandpaper and sand them up. First of all, measurement across points. Okay, and okay I'm going to go right across the points and we'll see if we see a zero. No. Nine megs. Okay, they're open. I gotta get the magnifying glass out. Five megs. It should be a short. So now let's get a little piece of sandpaper from the car cleaning kit. I think we should just get aggressive and use 220. What do you guys think? Oh well, yeah, use 600, but let's just do this, man. Okay, are you, uh, Oh, you're not back watching. Take this off. Turn it off, save the battery. And now you're watching the points. Right there. And I'm gonna stick this piece of sandpaper in between there. Now I'm gonna use the super fine one. Super fine. Okay, I've been having a lot of fun with cartoons. Some of you guys remember Batfink, right? And Roger Ramjet. Some guys did not. Batfink might have been Canadian, eh? But what about Fireball XL5? Those puppets. Yes, yeah, Steve. Okay, now we're going to get some, some carbur carburetor cleaner on those points. And we will now go back to the ohmmeter and I'm going to measure, I'm measuring the resistance across there to there, okay? So you're going to go back down to there now, wherever that is, right there, and we should see a zero. Or something like five ohms or less, because the points are closed. I need light. I saw the light. Actually, there were, <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> I said, I saw the light. He said, yeah, so did I. One was blue and one was red. And he never drove for a year after that. Okay. we got to close these points. Right there. Okay. Now we should see a short across those points. Are you guys looking at the meter? Yes, you are. 2.6 ohms, that's good. Now I'm going to go across the capacitor to ground, and it should take a little, uh, it should read. <laughs> good. You know what, I think we got her. Just dirty points. So, do we pop it all back together again to see if we have Arcady Spark? I think so. So let's zoom you back out. Go to W. And we're going to take the flywheel. Oh, no. Points back. Get a rag. I'm just going to spray this up a little bit. Wipe it off. Can't hurt, eh? And it's very clean inside here. That's the inside, outside. Okay. There's a little zoo ball right there where the wires lead. Good. I'm not going to use a. I'm not going to use the electric ratchet on that. One. I don't think that's the right. Oh me. There it is. Yay! The points look really good. They look uh, new and strong, just a little bit of dirt, and they're only closed for a very short period of time, right? 
Yeah. So now I'm just going to put the flywheel back on. Good, right? And I'm going to put the honor on her with this or, uh, and this. Now we got one more of those. I also have one of these. Just to make sure it's tight. Uh, and the big screwdriver. I don't like doing this to the big screwdriver. There we go. Oh, right, that's tight enough. Let's put this back together like we have a little bit of confidence. Are these the same? Yep. Yep. I'm going to zip those on with this. You can do that, eh? Good. And then I think we're going to just give the old... Well, we'll mount this. Right. We need the business card and the two bolts. I never even measured the resistance of the coil. If we have to do that, we will. Okay, where are the two coil bolts go? I'll be right back. Okay, I just put the coil back on with our super lucky business card. And I don't have a spark plug in there, which is a good thing. Now, can I rattle that around with a drill, or what should I use? It's a square hole, remember. Next size up. I just want to see if we have a spark. I'm not going to go crazy here, anything. Uh, like, this is like a bad plumbing job here. You guys watch out. I'm going to get the spark detector with the spark plug and we'll see if we've got a spark big enough to jump across the gap. We might even see a little explosion here. Okay. The wrong drill. I'm looking for a spark. I don't know if you guys can actually see it. But maybe you can uh, look up at the uh, spark indicator, which is about here. I don't think you guys can see that far up. Well, I'm just going to do this. Yep, we got a spark. I'll show you that just quick old. It's kind of dangerous. This is quite a crazy setup I got here. I got a drill with a quarter inch driver up to a half inch driver to a 15 16 socket on a square clutch with a spark plug sitting in the hole. And there's our detector right there. Look at what it did to the camera. The camera actually picked up the uh, induction. That's cool, eh? So now, we can put this bad boy back together again. Oh, you're looking at the sky now. Oh my gosh. There we go. Back up. I'm going to turn you off and reassemble this. I just have to, uh, remember that little piece of tin that I remember? Or, 
I told myself not to forget. Well, I forgot it. And here it is. It's part of the wind vane. The, inside here, a wind blows. And this is part of the wind vane, eh? Right there. So I'm going to just uh, put a 5 16 on there. And we're going to stick this on here. Like this. On here. Put this back on. And do we still have movement? Or do we get, no, we got too close. So I have to back this off now. Take it away from the magnet. Stick this in there, tighten it back up again. Those magnets really suck. <laughs> Bad joke. Right, take out the detector. Just put the spark plug down there. What do we got left? Uh, not much. That little guy is for that cover. One, two, three. We need a three eighths inch putter on or bolt or hooser. And there's Mrs. Pender. Hello, Mr. Okay, I just want to see if it fires. Get rid of all the tools and this thing likes to creep. You know what I'm going to do? That from five years ago that it just likes to creep forward. I'm going to take off the belt. Just so that the engine can run free without killing me or anybody else. Okay, the spark plug's on. Shouldn't be anything to turn it off. The wire should be hanging loose. It should cough. Okay. Okay, well I gotta give it a little squirt of something now. It's probably flooded, right? Cool! Okay, that means the ignition works. Yay! Okay guys, unbelievable. I just got rid of the fuel. It looks a year old, right? Uh, sorry for moving around, but look inside that tank. It is absolutely perfect. This is a, this is a 52 year old machine, man. You gotta love Alfred. It does what he's told. Not at all like me. All right, here's the choke mechanism now. Stop. Now let's just put you on your chair. And we'll get an old meter and we'll check and see if there's a ground on that lead from the points. <coughs> Good. And when we take the ground off, there, put it back together again. Okay, be careful, Pender. Be careful, Pender. <coughs> Stop, get to... Oh, you said to be careful when I got my flat. Stop, get to... Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Man, I want to put that in there. This is the fiddly part that some people just hate, eh? I don't mind it. So 
フォールの方を右の左のフォールタープに乗ってる There we go.We'll just see if it works.That's what we'll do.Okay, we got new gas in the machine. We can go to choke or run. It should start on run now. No, we'll go to choke. Yep. See that? Choke. Parts left. No. Okay, I'm going to try and see if I've got one of these. Okay, my friends, I put a belt on there that was the same size, maybe a half an inch shorter. I moved the engine back almost an inch. And it still won't idle without the tines turning. It, for some crazy reason, this belt is just a. Oh yeah, the belt is a bit worn. Maybe it's a worn belt, eh? Or a worn, not the belt, but the pulley. It just grabs like a son of a gun. Well, let's just take a measurement here on that inside groove of that pulley. Inches, right there. That one is one inch, and that one is 1.1 inches, whatever that means. Now this is the kind of stuff I save, but I don't save the world, I just save what I think I might need someday. Things like this, which can be a snowmobile, a snowmobile or a snowblower skid, right? I don't think I have anything. But what I do have is a pulley on this that can be turned around. B. I don't see why not, except it's an inch. It's an inch instead of a one. It's an inch and a tenth. Wow, since I bought this, it's just been great. Not the best quality, but it has the metric on one side and standard on the other. Computer. Solve my problem. You guys see what I'm doing here? Right? I just want to see if this other pulley slips and or it doesn't grab as much. <clears throat> now I got to get it off. You kind of are with me, aren't you? Let's get you down there so you can see what I'm doing. Possibly, possibly. Acetone and transmission fluid, that's what we're using. Let's get that, let's get this right out of there. Put it up on the counter and dribble some right into the hole. This might work. I have a wheel puller too, right? I can turn this into a two-jaw puller as well, right? Oh yeah. Ooh, we're right on the money there. One more try. It doesn't always work, right? I, I like to share what I do with you guys though, right? There it is, right in the center of that sucker. 
But tighten it up and see if it holds its weight there. Yes. Five eighths. Let's just see if we can give it that a little bit of a tug. It's, it's right on the edge, man. There we go. I lost one of the nuts off the floor, but it won't hurt right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. There it is right off there, so it's okay. coming. Isn't that something, eh? You gotta freaking love it. This is not an expensive puller, but it has helped me many, many, many times. Okay, now we're getting into the, the hard part. Let's go ahead and use a socket. Maybe I did damage the end of the shaft a tiny bit, eh? Right to the end, eh? There we go. Yay! Anytime you can accomplish something like that, you've got yourself. Oh yeah, there's a slight bit of expansion there. Okay. Did you guys get all of that or some of it? I'm just going to clean this up, turn the pulley around, and we'll do the other thing the opposite way. The, the beautiful thing about this puller is you see there's one here without one on there. Whoops, and so you take one of these off and you put it over here and you take off the other one and you've got a two jaw puller, which sometimes you can get into a hole or an area or just a different purpose altogether. So it's a two jaw puller and a three jaw puller. And I did not pay a lot of money for it, but it has helped me many times. There, that's gonna go. Now we're going to have, we might have to move the motor back. But with this particular, that's going to do, with this particular setup, uh, the belt is so loose I don't think it'll matter. If everything's wonderful, I might put some Loctite on there. Now this belt is actually viable. It's just been shredded quite a bit, eh? Viable as in used twice a year viable. Now I want to pull the rope and see if the tires move when it's in neutral. No, you see that? Let's jack it up. No, just a little bit. Beautiful thing.